We're here talking about the future of marketing when it comes to online, specifically B2B marketing, and EMC has been a leader in that for many, many years since Jeremy Burton has been the CMO and who's now the president of EMC, came on in 2010 as the chief marketing officer. So the, the, the big bang of viral marketing EMC actually started probably 14 years ago. And the formula is really interesting. It's why should consumer marketing have all the fun? We came up with strategy a long time ago, basically bake entertainment into everything that we do. Everything that we do with, with video and with marketing and EMC is if we do something cool or if we do something funny, the value proposition or the thing that we're trying to teach gets baked into the joke or gets baked into the, uh, the activity. So if you laugh at our joke, you also get the value proposition that we're trying to convey. The, uh, just about four years ago, we decided to come up with sort of a, an overall theme for EMC for the year. So we called it EMC's year of record breaking. We said, we're gonna go out and set a number of Guinness World Records. So we, we looked around at uh, what records could we set and how could we tie them to uh, EMC's core value proposition. So we were launching a number of products. One was a, a new, very small, very powerful unified storage array called the VNXE. And to demonstrate the power and, and small compact size of that, we set a Guinness World Record with 26 Palopolis dancers in a Mini Cooper. So we, we did it, we timed it, we had Guinness Book come out and certify it, and we filmed it. We also broke Evil Knievel's uh, record for, uh, for a jump on a uh, Harley flat track bike, over 40 Symmetrics VMAXs in a Harley Davidson dealership parking lot in uh, South Beach, Miami. Here he goes! That was for another record. Late in 2014, uh, we sort of dreamed up, you know, how can we do the greatest B2B uh, uh, tech stunt of all time. We do a sponsorship of the Lotus Formula One team. They had agreed with us that we'll, we'll cook up something together. <sighs> I don't know how we all kind of said, uh, yeah, that's a great idea to jump one of their car carriers over uh, one of their Formula One cars at 70 miles an hour off a ramp. One, one try, one chance. We got Guinness out to certify it. We all started tweeting about it, posting it to social, and the thing absolutely blew up. Next thing we knew, it was blowing up to uh, you know half a million views a day. With the F1 truck jump video, we knew we wanted to quantify it from the beginning. And that was not trivial because we would have to match up a lot of data sources to get to ultimately to the customer. So that required us to match up viewers on YouTube and other media all the way through to bookings. Even though there's only technically 197 countries around the world, <laughs> according to YouTube, it ended up in 243. And uh, it was watched a uh, a, a grand total globally of 45 million times now, and still going. Viral video is a major portion of our marketing. Once we had that data, we'd gone from 40 million viewers in a condition of anonymity, you know, we didn't know anything about them, to customers and companies that we wanted to market to, so we pr could bring together 21, 30 different sources of information for a huge view of those customers in a portrayal that allowed to sales to contact them directly, allowed marketing to go into contacts, directly and market to them with good response. It touched customers who had spent over $15 billion with EMC. There was no paid media for it at all, and we can sort of watch that go through the pipeline and say, ah, uh, well, that's pretty cool. To be able to match all of that together to get a 360 degree view of the customer. That's the trick, and that's what we've been doing. Uh, one of the questions people ask is, you know, why do you do viral marketing at a B2B tech company? And, I think the uh, you know the the secret of EMC success in, in B2B marketing is like, as I say is from the uh, the fever genius brain of Jeremy Burton and you know the unique formula that he's he's stuck on for years is he understands the technology deeply he's a visionary we figure out uh, together with 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 the teams that work on this stuff with him how to come up with something really cool that will convey the real value of the technology to you the the, the end consumer. Great job, Jeremy. Keep up the good work. Does it sell a product directly? Uh, no, of course not. Uh, but what it does is, is create better awareness. It influences people. And if you look at somebody who's considering a purchase of a product and uh, they think, well, those guys are pretty cool. I like the kinds of things that they do and they seem to have a, uh, a unique sense of humor and they make something of an effort to entertain me. Maybe I'll give them my money. BMC has really cracked the code on the ROI, return on investment, for advertising. 
and the old expression, 50% of your advertising is not measured, that's the old way. Now 100% of your advertising can be measured and smart marketers are using that data to create better experiences.